In the last two videos, I've teased that I've figured out how to fix the field of view in NASCAR Racing 2003. This will take some time, trial and error, and a bit of math, but it will be worth having a correct field of view. Now, if you are wondering what a field of view is, or why field of view is so important in a racing simulator like NASCAR Racing 2003, go into the description below and click on the link titled, Sim Racing 101 Field of View, Seeing is Believing by Empty Box. So now that you know how important the field of view is in a racing sim like NASCAR Racing 2003, let's get started, shall we? Now the piece of the puzzle that makes this work is a program called NR Cam Hack. Download this from the description below and unzip this file into a folder labeled Cam Hack. Right click NR Cam Hack and click Properties. Click Compatibility and check mark Run Program in Compatibility Mode for and change it to Windows XP Service Pack 2. Click Apply and open NR Cam Hack. If this loads up without a problem, lucky you. You can skip ahead a bit, but for most of you, you will run into a message saying that the program can't not start because dx8vb.dll is missing. If you get this message, go into the description again and download dx8vb.dll. Unzip this file into your downloads folder and copy the DLL file. Go into your C drive, click Windows, click SysWow64, and paste the file. Now we need to do a bit of easy coding. Open up the command prompt in admin mode and type what you see on the screen. After typing it in, hit enter. A message should pop up saying that it succeeded. Run the cam hack program and it should work. If it doesn't work past this point, try selecting run in admin mode, but past this you will need to research your problems on your own as these are the only problems I have run into. Now that we got it running, click control settings. If you click on each command, it will show you what key it is assigned to. I suggest writing down each key coinciding with each command. For these field of view settings, we will be using Enable, Disable, All Moving Assignments, Reset View, Increase Aspect Ratio, Decrease Aspect Ratio, and Default Field of View and Aspect Ratio. Also, set the camera speed to the lowest amount and click Save and Close. Now is the time to see if the cam hack is working with NASCAR Racing 2003. From now on, you will need to open the cam hack before you open NASCAR Racing 2003 in order for it to work. Go into a test session, hit the button assigned to turn the cam hack on, and use your assigned left and right to see if it is working. If not, try restarting the game and the cam hack until it does, or restart your computer. This is how I got it to work somehow, but once you get it working, hit the reset view key that you assigned for the cam hack and exit the game. Next, we need to calculate your field of view. Find a tape measure, and in the description is a link to a field of view calculator. What we need to do is measure your monitor's width and the distance you sit away from it and plug in the numbers. The width for my monitor is 20 inches and the distance I sit away from my screen is 24 inches. Hit calculate and there is your field of view. Although my field of view is around 45 degrees, I use 55 degrees so that I'm not zoomed in so far that I can't see anything to the sides. Once you get this number, write it down for future reference. Lastly, we need a photo editing software. I use a free software called GIMP which can easily be found on Google. Open up your photo editing software, then go into a test session in NASCAR Racing 2003. On your keyboard is a button that reads Print Screen. Hit that button, minimize NASCAR Racing 2003, and click Paste in your photo software, and there should be a picture of your cockpit view. Now that we have everything we need, now is the time to crunch some numbers. So this is a formula we will be using. It is 78 degrees divided by your field of view equals Y. 
Now y will be multiplied by your screen resolution, and that equals the size we need to increase your image. So for me, 78 degrees divided by my field of view, which is 55, equals 1.42, which is y. My screen resolution is 1080p, so I multiply 1.42 by 1080, which equals 1534, which is the amount of pixels we need the screen to be to emulate the field of view. Click the Scale Image tool and click on the image. Change the resolution from your screen resolution, or for me would be 1080, to the amount that we need to stretch it, which would be, for me, 1534, and click OK. Now the image that we see is how the cockpit should look at your field of view. Now for the fun part. What we need to do is minimize and maximize the game and try to match the image that we created in this software editor. Other ways to do this would be to use your phone and upload that picture to that, or in my case, use your second monitor to put the reference picture on that. Now, in NASCAR Racing 2003, Enabled cam hack using the key assigned to it and click and hold the increased aspect ratio until it matches the screen. If you screw up, you can always hit the reset button by clicking the default field of view and aspect ratio. Once you got it all matched up, hold left control and the number one on your keyboard. Now hitting the number one key will make that your default view. Now, lower or raise the camera by hitting the up and down key you assign and hold the left control and the number one again to save the view. And finally, we are done. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorials I made for NASCAR Racing 2003. If you had any troubles in getting these to work or following this video, put it in the comments so I or others can help you. Don't forget to always like and subscribe, and as always, I am the Ben Crazy, and I will see you later.